In a tragic irony, an Iraqi man who fled the killing in his homeland was shot to death last week in Dallas. Today, a teenager was arrested for his murder, and Manuel Bajorcas is following this. This is video of Ahmed al Jamali as he and his family walked outside their Dallas apartment a week ago Thursday. It was the first time al Jamali had seen snow and the last moments of his life. His wife, Zara Altai, was there when someone opened fire. I think it was fireworks or something like that. Until you saw it, him. He was bleeding. He said, it, even when he said, Zara, I got shot, and he put his hand on his heart. I didn't believe him until I saw him bleeding. Al Jamali had escaped the violence in Iraq after saving up a year's salary to reunite with his wife here. He had been in the U.S. only three weeks. Mohammed Altai was his father-in-law. We were hoping that they're going to start a new life, better environment, better education, better, a safer place for them to raise a new family. A safer place. I thought so. We thought so. All of us, we thought so that. Surveillance video caught four young men leaving the scene that night. Police say one of them, this 17-year-old, was the shooter and that he did not know al Jamali or his ethnicity, but may have chosen him at random as payback for an earlier shooting. The teenager admits he was there, but denies pulling the trigger. I know that nothing can bring him back to me or, or nothing can take the pain from my heart. Police say more arrests are possible. Scott, they're looking into whether the three other men who were seen leaving this apartment complex the night of the shooting should also be charged. Manuel Bajorcas in Dallas. Manuel, thanks very much.